Thanks for joining us at XM.com. This is the Daily Market Comment by Raf Boyajian. I'm Christina Marujos. Global stock markets look set to end the week firmly higher, led by another record close on Wall Street on Thursday. A robust set of economic indicators out of the United States, as well as mostly positive earnings, helped the S&P 500 and Nasdaq Composite wrap up a choppy session by closing at new all-time highs, though only just. The tech-heavy Nasdaq was lifted by stellar earnings by NVIDIA, but a plunge in Cisco shares pulled the Dow Jones lower on the back of its revenue miss. Concerns about how surging inflation and supply chain issues would harm corporate earnings are slowly coming to the fore. But whilst there have been some disappointments in quarter three earnings, investors have overall been encouraged by corporate America's resilience to these headwinds and yesterday's big drop in continuing jobless claims to a new post-pandemic low and the stronger-than-expected rise in the Philly Fed Manufacturing Index further reassured markets. In Asia, the unveiling of a $490 billion stimulus package by the Japanese government on Friday also boosts sentiment. However, there are still some dark clouds hanging over the region, namely China's economic slowdown and regulatory crackdowns. The improved optimism for the global growth outlook appears to be offsetting the intensifying speculation that the Federal Reserve and other central banks will hike rates much sooner than expected. The US dollar marched higher and the dollar index was last up almost 0.5% and on track for its fourth weekly gains while piling downward pressure on its rivals. The euro slumped the most, plummeting back below $113 after European Central Bank President Christine Lagarde once again warned against premature tightening in comments earlier today. The pound and commodity-linked dollars also skidded, while the yen and Swiss franc edged higher. Austria's announcement that it is entering a full lockdown might have dented the mood as European trading got underway. It comes hours after Germany announced new restrictions for unvaccinated people as virus cases surge in many parts of Europe. The Canadian dollar fared slightly better, though falling by 0.4%, as it found support from steadier oil prices, as investors questioned whether the White House's plan for coordinated release of strategic oil reserves by the United States, China and others would have a meaningful impact in the oil market. This was today's Daily Market Comment here at XM.com. Have a great weekend.